Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, since the winters are there and I am now in Bombay, we shall be making our Parsi favorite winter dish and that is the wasam. It is very easy to make wasam if you follow the proper steps and if you order the right things. Now, for this recipe, since it is my mom's recipe, Sirama's recipe for this wasanu, I would like her to introduce you to all the different things which go into the making of wasanu. So, Sirama, you can explain them what all goes in. And remember, she is the one who inspired me to cook. So, Sarama, you can continue. Hello, friends. How are you all? God bless you. I am reading this ingredients of my wasam. Sugar is 1 kg, 250 grams. Water is 600 ml. Pure ghee is 1.5 kg. Almonds, 100 grams. Pista, 100 grams. Cashew nuts 250 grams, Charoli 50 grams, Char Jatna Magas 250 grams, Singorana powder 40 grams, Kamar Kakri 40 grams, Gokru 40 grams, Sut 330 grams, Safed Mani 75 grams, Pepper Meat 20 grams, Salam 5 grams, Safed Musli 5 grams, Kari Musli 5 grams, Elchi powder 10 grams, Jaifal 4 grams, Javan 3 10 grams, Taj 8 grams, Lavang 8 grams, Asario 10 grams, Sua powder 50 grams, 3 to 75 grams, Balbich 5 grams, Akalgaro 5 grams, Kamar Kas 5 gram, Nak Kesar 5 gram, Tej Bal 5 gram, Satavli 5 gram, Surijan 5 gram, Kaucha 5 gram, Aradno Ato 120 grams, 25 grams, Chanano Ato 75 grams, Methi powder 12 grams, Mavo half kilo, Guda 100 grams, Asan Powder 5 gram, half a kilo mavo, that's from the dairy. Well, my mom, as on uh, October the 14th, turned 92 years old. She cannot sit for a very long time, so we shall have to excuse her. She will be going back to her room. Bye bye. Off with the same. Now, since you have been introduced to all these different items which go in the wasano, let's start the wasano. For that, you take a nice big vessel. In that, we put the sugar. And to the sugar, we add 600 ml of water. Adding the water, what we are supposed to do, khan no chas, you got to melt the sugar in this water. So we switch on to a high flame and keep turning it as and when. So that the sugar melts in the water. In the meantime, what we do is we grind all this nuts and uh, four different maja in a grinder, but just grind it coarsely, not very fine. Two, three spins of the grinder 
is enough. And add it away. Now when I say cos, this is what I mean. You see? Not very fine, not very big. Similarly, we do the same thing with the pista, the almonds and the cashew nut. But the charoli, we do not grind. We put the charoli whole in this mixture. After mixing it over here, what we will be doing is frying everything individually. So for that, first we do the pista. Then we do the badam or the almonds. Also grind it just coarsely. So we do it coarsely because when the wasano is done, this nuts should come into your mouth. And the last is the cashew. everything together with your hands. Remember one thing, the sugar and water, you just keep on turning it. Don't let the sugar burn downstairs because we are not making a caramel out of it. We are just trying to melt the sugar in water. Once the sugar is melted in water, we shall put it aside and then start frying all the things. Now the sugar has almost melted. So what we do is we take the mawa and we put the mawa in a microwave so you can throw it straight away inside. I put it in the microwave so that it becomes a little soft. Not more, just for two minutes. And when it is nice and soft, we add it inside and leave it aside. You can see that the sugar has melted in the water completely. At this point, we can lower the flame. Now we remove the half melted mawa and add it all inside and mix it well. Whisk it with a whisk. and mix it all together. You shift it aside and now we shall start frying everything in a non-stick pan and go on adding it to this liquid. The non-stick on the Stove, make it to full. We fry all the nuts first in the ghee. We go on pouring little little ghee inside, and when it heats up, we fry the nuts. And this whole process, what we shall do is we shall divide all these things into one two and three groups which we take in a plate the gundar we keep it separate to fry and in the end we add smoot we add touch and lavang and elchi jaifal jawantri these are the things to be added last and of course the pepper powder if you want it spicy you can use more pepper powder. If you want it less spicy, use less pepper. But never make a mistake of increasing 
सूट पाउडर फॉर मेकिंग स्पाइसी इट विल बिकम बिटर एंड इफ समबडी हैज ग्लूटिन प्रॉब्लम द ओनली थिंग विच यू डोंट यूज इन दिस होल मसाला इज गवनू डूड Avoid using the gavnu dud, and this whole thing will be okay for a person who has gluten problem, who cannot consume any gluten or has gluten allergy. Going back to the frying, what we do first is we take the nuts. We will do it in two parts: frying of the nuts. and start frying in your ghee till all the nuts are well fried keep moving your wooden spoon don't let it stick at the bottom don't let it burn at the bottom this is the only tedious thing in the whole wasano the frying part otherwise making wasano is the easiest now when the nuts are nice and brown you can see it has turned nice and brown don't let it burn this is the time when you remove it from the fire and add everything inside this ready liquid which you have on the side sugar water and mao We add to it. Now you will see that it is so hot with the ghee. Everything starts boiling again over here. See, everything starts boiling in this. So just turn it nicely so that it mixes. And in the meantime, we add some more ghee to this. And we add the remaining nuts. Which are there? Powdered, not actually powdered, but coarsely grind. Fry them again. The same way we fried the first one. When it turns nice and brown. And remember, as and when, if you feel the ghee is a little less, always add to it. There is no harm in adding. And for this recipe, I did say one and a half liter of ghee. But if you feel the ghee a little less, go on adding. Even if you add another two hundred and fifty grams more to it, it will not be harmful. On the contrary, it will be additional taste in your wasan. But try and use pure ghee and not vanaspati ghee, please. always remember if you want to have your end product good then you use quality pro, uh, masalas and quality product only then the quality of your final product will be the best now what happens is all this powders most of them you would say mai to naam bhi nahi samajhe i have never heard of all this obviously because most of the things used in wasano are all ayurvedic powders now when it is nice and brown again add all this inside now since the nuts are over we add nice quantity of ghee see to it that you use this rest ghee for your three plates or other four plates to fry all the other masalas so we wait for the ghee to heat up a little on full flame and then we will fry it you can fry each thing individually but the amount is so small that i have added four four five five masalas together so that i can fry it fast Now, when the oil is nice and hot, we add 
the first few masalas in it and fry them. I feel the key is a little, little more. So what we do is we add a little bit of the other masala, not all, only enough to fry in this extra ghee. And keep turning. Don't let anything burn. If you don't fry them properly, what will happen is your wasano will be kachu, raw. It won't cook as good as it has to. So all of this masala is have to cook properly in the ghee. And after it is done, we add it back to the syrup. Now that the masala has fried nicely, don't burn it. You can see it, that it is nicely fried. What we do is we just add all this to our sugar syrup and the rest of the wasana. Add some ghee to it. When the ghee heats up, what we do is we add some more of the masala and fry it nicely. Always try to mix the powder with the ghee. Otherwise half will be cooked and half will be raw. Mix it well and then start frying everything. The gunder that we have taken, powdered it. You get big pieces, it becomes very difficult. So take powdered gunder. And this, we'll be frying it on its own separately. Because for this to melt is a little difficult. So, as I said, after frying it nicely, don't let it burn at the bottom. Go on stirring it all the time and every time. And then add it. You can see it's all boiling inside. You can see there's bubbles. So, kindly mix it all well. Just now only. So you can see that the wasano is halfway through. It gets the color and it will slowly, slowly get the consistency also. Some ghee. Scrape the bottom first before adding the other masalas. Not that the whole masala starts burning at the bottom and if you can't manage it on high flame lower the flame and go on frying it slowly Bombay at the moment is so hot that I am sweating to glory dry. There's a reason for it because these are all the flowers which I have taken. So go on frying it nicely, stirring it all the time. Don't let it burn at the bottom. As I said, if you cannot manage on high flame, you can put it on low flame and do it slowly and gradually. When it is fried, add all this to our wasana mass. Just a dash 
just a dash, not too much of water. We shall just to rinse the just a little dash to rinse this pan. Do not use too much of water because the wasana doesn't require except for the water which it takes with the sugar. to fry the blender. As I said, fry the blender separate. Do not fry it with any other masala. So now, we shall fry the powdered blender and oil nicely. See, using the powder, it melts so nicely in the ghee that you don't have to sweat it out. Remember, it tries to thicken up a little, so go on breaking it. Now, when the gudar fries, it becomes a little hard. So what we do is, we remove it in a vessel and break it fine. We add all the remaining ghee which is here inside. This time we have to keep the flame on low and mix it well. As I said, soon LG, Lavang, Jaifal, Javantri powder will be adding at the end. After cooling the powder, just break it a little. And this. And then we add this in the grinder and grind it finely into a powder. It is ground properly. This we add inside and mix it well. This it is fine. This and cook it. Nice. Now continuously go on mixing. I'm sorry, you will all have to bear with the sound which is coming on the top because one of our neighbors he is uh, getting his flats repaired. So you'll have to excuse us for that. You see, the oil and or the rather the fat is floating out. And this is nicely cooked. This is the time. This is the time. When you add all these things inside, mix it well, properly. And now when I add the soup powder, you will see that all of a sudden the wasano will be nice and thick. And then for at least minimum of 25 to 30 minutes, we have to turn it on a low flame and cook it further. At least 25 to 30 minutes after adding the soon. And remember what I said, if you want to make it more spicy, do not add extra soon. It will become bitter. Instead, please Go ahead and add white pepper powder. 
that will make the wasabi nice and spicy. Now you see, when the soup goes in gradually, the wasabi over here is becoming thick. Now, after 25 minutes of cooking and stirring the wasabi, you will see how my hand has become so tight over here. It is, this is the most difficult part in the wasano at the end when you turn it. This wasano has to be switched off now since it is almost over 25 minutes. And I will be putting this wasano on the side to cool. Do not leave it on the heat, otherwise when your flame is off, in spite of that, it still heats up the tapeli or the vessel. Now this has to cool down totally before you start packing. I have switched on both, both the fans, two fans, the wall fan and the ceiling fan for this wasano to cool down because it is going to take at least 6 to 8 hours for the wasana to cool. So just leave it for cooling and then in half a kilo boxes you can weigh half a kilo and pack it for further use. But while cooling, do not leave it open. Especially in Bombay, a lot of flies attack it. Cover it up with a cloth. Well, friends, by now you should be expert in making ceramized wasa. So go ahead, make yourself your own wasa during this winter season. It is very good for every one of us. It is good for our health. It is good for the warmth of the body. It is good for our bag. It is very good for pregnant ladies, for producing milk. And this has been carried on for ages. Our grandparents, our great grandparents used to make it and have it. So go ahead and have it. And as I said, in the box below, I'll give you the telephone number of Mr. Himanshu Tarte of Motilal Masala Wala, who could supply you the whole masala anywhere in the world. And I will even give you my telephone number. As long as I'm in Bombay, if you want to order, do contact me on my WhatsApp and I will inform you the price. Minimum order of half a kilo and it will be not delivered at any place. One has to come home and pick it up. Because I can't do my mummy at 92 and run around. So friends, till the next time that we meet again, bye bye, au revoir, and off we the same.